Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? For Lychee Friday. Already I'm like, oh no, my brain is fried and I'm like one second into Facebook Live today. That's not good. It's been a crazy busy week at my other jobs. So I think um, I'm like, okay, I just gotta get through Facebook Live. Hey Tammy, how are you? Thanks for joining us. So yeah, we are gonna have some fun today. Celebration has begun, oh my goodness. So if you do not have, Bonnie, hello, welcome, welcome. The new, um, and not annual, the new mini catalog, the January only through April, January through April mini catalog and the celebration brochure. Please let me know. I would love to get these sent out to you. Get them in your hands. I've got a stack of them here. Um, I'm actually doing, Anna, hello. I'm gonna do a kind of new catalog kickoff celebration kickoff event next Saturday, actually. So um, I ordered a bunch of these catalogs to make sure I had enough for everybody. Philomena, hello, welcome, welcome. So yeah, so let me know if you need these catalogs. I would love to get them out to you. There's so much good stuff in there. You guys, we're gonna have lots and lots of fun. Fun today. Thank you for sharing the video too, Philomena. We are playing today. You guys probably have seen because this is, I think, going to be one of those super popular, super duper cute. Luann, hello, welcome. This is the Adorable Owls stamp set. This is what we're going to play with today. And I, it's funny, you'll see um, when I actually show you the cards, I paired. Um, well, let me actually show you the stamp set. Um, I get like so excited. Uh, okay, so sentiments, right? We've got my friend, it's your day, and Hoot, hoot, you're so cute. Yes, happy 2023. That's right. It's going to be a great year, isn't it? Um, I think tomorrow we're finally going to be blessed with some sun, so that would be a great thing. Uh, January is always a little dark around here, so we're looking forward to that sun tomorrow. But yes, and so the, the thing is, right, when we kind of have like dark, dreary, like winter days, Play with your cute stuff in your craft room. Pull it out. Kind of, it's like one of those wash away the winter blues when you get to play with all of these fun new things. Yes, happy new catalog launch and celebration to you too, Miss Anna. Okay, so yes, we're going to play with this cute stamp set. What I was starting to say was I paired it with... <clears throat> And this is called the Dandy Designs Designer Series Paper. This is like a little um, six by six sampler. So when you look at I, all the patterns, so, so cute. This is the one that I mentioned last week that I'm just sure is gonna sell out. So this is actually, it comes in 12 by 12. Don't be deceived, it's not six by six paper. I just cut it down because I'm actually gonna be giving these little packages away. So I wanted to um, cut it cut it down and then show you guys, right? So this is, again, let me make sure the Dandy Designs Designer, ser designer Series paper free with a $100 order during celebration. So look at all those cute, cute, cute patterns, right? And what I was saying was I think, um, those patterns are great. Like they're like super cute, fun, springy kind of colors and patterns. And I think they're really cute for like baby cards. And I'm kind of just starting to get into the point where friends of mine, their daughters, mainly daughters, I guess there's probably some sons out there too, but are having kids. So I'm like, oh, this is kind of fun. That'll be great paper to make like cute little like welcome baby or congratulations um, baby cards, right? So, and again, I think the owls would be super Super cute too like the I love owls there's something so interesting about them I guess because you don't ever really see them so they're kind of like a mystery um, but I they're super cute out here as well too so yes this is what we're gonna play with again adorable owls and I keep thinking I'm gonna say it wrong dandy designs designer series paper this stamp set is free with a $50 order and then the designer series paper because you get 48 sheets of um, that dandy designs designer series paper right 48 sheets 12 by 12 so it's free with a $100 order okay I think I've got that covered right okay so we're gonna scoot these things out of the way right I'll move that back there all right but let's see what else do I want to tell you guys about thank you for sharing the video too Miss Bonnie um oh I know what I want to show you guys now, the um, little mini cut and emboss machine, right? I don't have the blue one, the, the boho blue baby, uh, but I want you guys to kind of see, and I'll try to remember to share this again um, when we flip the camera down, but this is the little mini um, stamp and cut and emboss machine as opposed to like the regular size. So it's more narrow, so you can't fit um, like the wide um, embossing folders through here. You can kind of see that, right? It's a little bit wider than my hand width, I guess. Well, maybe all my fingers together. Um, <clears throat> 
but you can get one of these for free right now during celebration with the awesome starter kit deal that they have going on right now. So again, you can get this. I'm calling this kind of like the classic white in my kind of marketing information. And then there's the boho blue, which is kind of, it kind of, I'm actually like, hmm, boho blue. I wonder if that's gonna, maybe they even told us that. Is that gonna be a new in color? I think there's a possibility. Anyway, it's kind of, mm, I guess it's maybe a little more dusty blue, like a light kind of pale blue, kind of like balmy blue, but maybe a little more dusty, I would say. So yes, so celebration starter kit deal is what I'm really trying to tell you guys about. You can, and let me, I gotta get my flyer here because um, I wanna make sure that I don't give you bad information. But, okay, so here's the starter kit deal. You have three different options. So not confusing, but just a little bit more to think about and decide which one of these do you want to do. So if you want one of the mini, like look at how cute it is, this little mini cotton. And you can see like it's pretty light too. Like I don't, you know, it's not like um, it's so portable, right? I just flip those little things up, right? So you can get either, again, the white or the blue mini cotton emboss machine, and you get to pick $175 in product anything you want there's no restrictions i always like jokingly say you can get 175 dollars in like seal refills if you think you don't need anything else so even like stocking up on basics like adhesive cardstock envelopes you know any of that basic stuff that you're like oh it's kind of boring but you get such a great deal right so why not use like get those things through the starter kit plus then you get one of those cute little stamp and cut and emboss machines it's 129 dollars plus sales tax the shipping fee is waived also then so that's kind of option one is boho blue machine option two is the classic white and then option three is if you decide or maybe you already have i don't need one of these little mini cut and emboss machines that's all right you get to pick 175 dollars in product and pay only 99 dollars plus sales tax so any of those options are a great deal plus the best thing about it uh you get a 20 percent discount on everything that you order after that so that's when you can get those free celebration items so anything every time you spend 50 dollars you get your demonstrator discount so you get your 20 percent off so it's like double dipping right you get your 20 percent discount and then you also get to pick free celebration items with every 50 dollars in product that you order and the cool thing is they calculate that 50 dollar increment before they take your discount off so you literally find 50 dollars in product like true cost in the catalog um, when you get to fifty dollars, you get to pick a free celebration item. So, and then you get your twenty percent discount at the very end of it all. They take that off. So, super awesome deal. I would love to get one of those kits um, starter kit ordered for you. If you are not comfortable ordering online, I will have the link to be able to do that um, on this Facebook Live video after I get things uploaded today. But if you're not comfortable, just email me. Give me your list, and I'll put the order in for you. Your starter kit order. So. Yeah, such a great deal during celebration. So make sure everybody knows about that too. Okay, here, I'm just gonna keep like moving stuff off my table so I feel really organized. So that's a nice feeling, right? Okay, you guys all know I'm an accountant too, right? So it's like in my blood, I have to feel organized <laughs> at some level. And today at the end of a very long week, I'm like, that's only gonna help me um, kind of stay focused and on track here, I think. Uh, okay, let's see. So what is next? Uh, oh, okay. I want to tell you guys a couple more things. Um, and I've been emailing and posting on Facebook about these things too, but I want to make sure everybody is aware. I am doing, and I did this last year also, something called the Celebration Celebration event. And it's basically at the end, like after Celebration is done, it's like a thank you event to everyone that either ordered, hosted a private class, or bought the starter kit during Celebration. So let me tell you kind of what's involved and how you can be able to participate in the celebration celebration event the other thing i will tell you is if you're long distance you can still get all of these benefits even if you can't make it to the event okay so let me preface it with that it's not just for local people right okay so the first way to earn your spot into the celebration celebration event is to host a private celebration party or class we can do that at the church where i hold my classes so you don't even have to do anything at home in terms of you know getting cleaned up or worrying about your husband kids dogs any of that we'll uh, whisk you away and we'll go um, play with fun cute things over at the church so basically you just have to find a group of friends that want to do that let me know and we'll I'll take care of the rest we'll get everything all set up so that's one way if you host a private celebration party or class 
If you purchase the starter kit, you get an entry. Well, not an entry. You earn your spot at the Celebration Celebration event. And then the third way is if you spend at least $150 during Celebration, which is all of January and all of February. So you got two full months, $150 in orders, plus you get free Celebration items with every $50 order. So it's like kind of a no-brainer. So it's a free event. I basically spoil you with, I have snacks and treats i have specials we do a buy one get one free sale i have sneak peeks of new catalog stuff we do make and takes i make little gifts we have games and prizes so it's lots and lots of fun but again if you can't make it i will put your make and takes together for you we'll get your gift i'll get everything sent right out to you um, as a congratulations on earning your spot at the celebration celebration event so think about that that's again all month all january and all february as well okay and then the other thing i'm doing is something called a club member drive which i love to do this during celebration also to kind of highlight and remind you guys about the club options that i have available so two of them are local options because it's actually like physically coming to classes so we have the simple beautiful card class that um, happens the second friday so it'll be next friday is our first one in um, of 2023 so simple beautiful card class we make four allocation cards um, you put an order in Get your projects for free one month you're the host and you get at least thirty dollars in host benefits so that's always the second friday of every month then i have the scrapbook club which is the last tuesday of every month we make three 12 by 12 scrapbook pages um, each month again put an order in get your pages for free one month you're the host and you get thirty dollars in free host benefits and then the last way is the class to go kit club so that basically means that you want to get the to go kits like every single month so say if you started in january you'd get them these are all 12 month clubs too, I should mention that. So you um, get the class to go kit and you can pick either option number one or option number two from the class to go kits each month. I ship everything out to you. Um, again, one month you're the host and you get at least $30 in free host benefits. Plus I always love to send cute little um, treats and give them at classes to my club members. So this was the little club member treat that I made for December. So this is a fun calendar that features the fancy flora designer series paper. And then uh, it's, it's the stamp set that coordinates. It's in the same suite and I can't remember the name of it, but that's the stamp set that I used. The sentiment says, you matter to so many. And then these are some of the dies that coordinate with that stamp set also. So one of those cute little standy, you can put it, you know, right on your desk or wherever you need a little calendar, right? So this was my little treat to everybody. And I love making these little treats. A lot of times there's chocolate or candy or something like that included. So this month, no candy or chocolate, but an awesome calendar for all 12 months of the year. So if you have any questions on joining a club, let me know. The cool thing is if you join during uh, celebration, so January and February, your name goes in the drawing to win another free celebration item too. So let me know if you have any questions on that, okay? Um, all right, let's see what I think we are ready. Let's do our first drawing, okay? So <clears throat> you guys have been sharing the video, which I appreciate. Names are right in here in the basket for sharing last Friday's Facebook Live video or signing up for my email list. And you guys know if you haven't signed up, that's the best way to stay informed about things going on. Um, the link will be above this Facebook Live video after I get everything posted. Hello, Janina, how are you? Okay, so one lucky winner that shared the video or signed up for my Facebook list. Let's see, it's going to win. Hey, did I share? <laughs> Hey, sorry, that's not very polite, is it? <laughs> Did I show what we're, we're giving away? Those are the fine sparkle gems that are actually now retired now that the holiday catalog is fully done and gone. And I just realized as I popped onto this Facebook Live, I'm like, oh, I gotta change the banner above this group because the last chance lists are gone. So like mental note to do that. Um, soon <laughs> after facebook live okay so here uh, i like flipping all around get one lucky winner in my hand and miss sabina miller congratulations she's a good sharer of the videos also so congratulations sabina you are the winner of the fine sparkle gems and i will have them out on the porch for you so stop by anytime to pick those up okay let me get those 
All right, we got those. And okay, so I have new stuff. I've been able to finally, so yesterday was the first day of celebration. So I was gonna, I think I put one order in and then I was like, oh, do I need to put another order in? So this week I'm putting another order in. So if you need anything, let me know because I'm gonna be putting an order in, like I said, this weekend. Um, so in the meantime, I have new stuff to show you guys. This is what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live that is going to be two weeks from today. I know I probably threw people because I've kind of been doing every other Friday, um, but the way the January calendar worked out, I needed to do it this Friday because I can't do it next Friday. So anyway, we're kind of, bear with me, right? It's just, it's how life is. Um, yeah, like I said, my other job is soup jobs because I have two other jobs, uh, other accounting jobs. Um, you guys maybe uh, have heard, you know, in terms of like year end, like January is always a super busy for accountants. So that's what I do. And it is super duper busy this year. So anyway, what was my point in that? Oh, because we're going to give these away on our Facebook Live two weeks from now. So these are called the Pastel Adhesive Backed Sequins, and you get a ton of them. I don't know if you can see because they're kind of offset, but there are two sheets of them. So I'm just going to stay like turquoise, pink, and gold. Those are not the color names, but that's what I'm calling them right now. But there are kind of smaller ones, and then behind are larger ones. So you can kind of see that. Anyway, they're beautiful. I love these sequins that are already, um, you know, they already have the um, the adhesive on the back of them, low glue dot, so they're super easy to work with. They're just beautiful, aren't they? So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. This is one of our new embellishments in our new mini catalog, okay? Um, oh, okay, so I wanna show you guys. I got a couple more cards. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys, I know it's a little bit past Christmas, but I love to highlight when I receive these cards. So thank you. This one is from Charlene Kennedy and the snowman. Everybody loves, I've, I think I got another card with the snowman because he's so cute and so fun and easy to kind of color into as much or as little as you want, right? So we've got Christmas wishes and joyful greetings. And then she just has a nice little sentiment on the inside there. Sending you blessings, peace, and magic this Christmas season. Merry Christmas, Charlene. So very cute, right? And I love um, that black, the black and red color combination there too. And then this one is actually from uh, one of my team members from Shauna Hughes. Um, let's see, let me show you this one right here. Okay, so those are those snowflakes that, I'm trying to think if those are retired now or not. They were, I think they probably are because they were in the um, the next, the holiday catalog. They were in last year's holiday catalog. They made it into this year's holiday catalog, but they are um, gone now. And so her sentiment is snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas. And then she just kind of decorated the inside also. So thank you, Miss Shauna, for that holiday card as well. And then last, I have a card from uh, Denise, who is another good friend and customer right here in Alma. Okay, so look, she used the wreath dies, those cottage wreath dies. Isn't that so cute? And I don't know if you can see, but she did, um, you can kind of see right there with that um, winter wonderland and mossing folder. I'm already drawing a blank because I think it's retired and I can't remember the name of it, but it's the one with the Christmas trees. It's really hard to see on there, isn't it? But that's beautiful too, isn't it? And this was cute. She, I, when I opened this, she, she had a little sticker in there for me too. So the sentiment says, love and joy come to you and may it last the whole year through. And then look at this, <laughs> that cute little sticker in there too. This Christmas carols, cookies, and cocoa. <laughs> Super cute little sticker. So thank you, Denise, for the card and the cute little sticker. Okay, we are cruising right along because I can't wait to share those cards with you guys. Um, <clears throat> okay, I think we are almost ready to flip the camera down. I, oh, well, we have to do one more drawing, don't we? Okay, so if you're new to Facebook Live, I always like to make sure in case there are new people that pop on and watch either like on the live or maybe later on Facebook. And I do post this video on YouTube also. So hello and welcome to anyone that's finding us on YouTube too. So. Okay, we have the drawing that we're gonna do in just a moment is for the Sending Support stamp set. So this is the stamp set that I featured last Friday on Facebook Live. This is another one of those free items during celebration, free with a $50 order. Awesome, very much needed sentiments. I actually had three friends with a brother, a mom, and a dad that passed away in the last couple of weeks. So just 
crazy, crazy. They always say it happens more around the holidays and it definitely, that definitely happened for my friends this year. So this is um, a great stamp set. I'm definitely using all of the sentiments in here, sadly, so unfortunately, but um, great, you know, just great sentiments to have when you're like, oh, I'm like, oh, I get like sad for them. Um, so anyway, okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna give that stamp set away if you put an order in of at least $50 using the host code. Then you also get both of these projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live featuring that sending support stamp set. Okay, so you're gonna get those as a thank you for sure. And then you also get to pick from, we have the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, 16 projects in here, step-by-step, -step, color, beautiful. I have actually, as I'm doing this, I'm like, I've really barely even had a chance to flip through here myself. Lots of cute projects that tell you exactly how to put everything together. You can pick from this PDF tutorial or January's free embellishment, which I've already used this. I won't send you a used package, I promise. But these are, the name is on the back, the Iridescent Pastel Drums. I have used parts of like three or four packages of these already. I'm not even sure how I have done that, but I will get full, I've, I've ordered full packages. So if you would like the free embellishment, this is what you get this month, okay? So let's see, we are gonna do our drawing right now for the Sending Support Stamp Set. Okay, names are in here. Again, if you put at least a $50 order in through me and use the host code which the host code is always um, in the details about this Facebook Live video too. Okay, so here we go, tossing the names around. And thank you guys for your orders too. Um, now the celebration is like in full swing. Um, I love, I'd love for you to choose me as your demonstrator, use that host code, take advantage of celebration and get all the freebies too with your orders. Again, another great time to stock up on stuff because you get free stuff too. Okay, Miss Linda Danis. All right, congratulations, Linda. She is the winner, uh, winner of the Sending Support Stamp Set. So I will get that sent out to you, Miss Linda. Okay, we got that, we got that. I think, yeah. Oh, I know what I need to show you guys. What we're gonna give away, and I actually just ordered it, so I don't have it here yet. But by the time we have our next Facebook Live, I will have it. So on our next Facebook Live, two weeks from today, we will be drawing, if you put an order in through me, the Share a Milkshake stamp set. And I can show you guys the inside of the catalog now too. I love to be able to do that. Okay, so again, this is super cute. I'm gonna read you the sentiments because it is kind of part of Valentine, but it doesn't have to be. So there is a Be My Valentine, Life is Sweeter with You, You're the Cherry on Top, and Celebrate. Okay, so again, backwards, but there's the stamp set. And then look at all the super cute project ideas that they've given you in the catalog too. So we'll be drawing for that stamp set on our next Facebook Live. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I think we're good. Okay. We are going to flip the camera down. So we're flying through the air. Turn your heads away. That's what that was. Turn your heads away as we fly through the air. Okay. I think I need to... This is like moving a little bit here. There. Okay, that looks better. Flip the camera down. Okay, good. Hello, everybody. All right, so I want to show you guys, we have, and I showed you this before, um, but I just want to put a quick reminder out there. This is an example of the paper share. Okay, <laughs> so much paper in this paper share. $50, hello, Miss Nancy, gets you a sample of all of our designer series paper. It's not even like fanning out very well. I showed you guys, I went in like detail last week and showed you every single one. Not gonna do that again, but you, like, oh, look at how cute that is. And the little farm paper. <laughs> it's awesome, right? And then, so you get all the free celebration papers too. You get the free host paper. Um, you get lots and lots and lots of good stuff. So $50 gets you a full package of this designer series paper share. Every grouping of four people, because uh, you basically had a quarter of a pack of the paper, um, I put another order in. And we're going to be doing that all month long through the end of January. So if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get one of those paper shares ordered for you. As an example, again, this is the super cute, these were scrapbook pages that we made um, last month at the end of December, featuring that day at the farm designer series paper. So it's funny, because when I first saw this, you know, I'm flipping through um, the celebration 
catalog or little brochure. Where is, where is the day at the farm? I think I skipped it. I'm like, I feel like it's more toward the beginning. Okay. Have you got it? Well, let's do that. Let's do this for a moment here, right? These are all the free items because I just realized I can show you guys this now. Free items during celebration. So the adorable owl stamp set, that's what we're using today. Thanks a bunch. That's another super cute one. Again, free with a $50 order. Here we go. The dainty flowers. That's what I used on the projects last week also. Free with a $50 order. <clears throat> this is what I was trying to show you. <laughs> the day at the farm designer series paper hi Lori, how are you so i got to this page and i was like huh i don't really know what i think about that paper because you know i mean i don't live on a farm and i don't have much farm experience even though like i definitely live in a very rural area so i have a true appreciation for it but then when i opened up the paper i was like it's so cute so i think you could have lots of fun especially like with kids grandkids you know pictures um scrapbook pages like i'm going to show you or even just you know cute little cards for the kiddos right so sending support stamp set that's the stamp set that we featured um last week on facebook live again free with a 50 dollars order we have the favored flowers designer series paper beautiful gorgeous deep rich colors on that designer series paper again free with a 50 dollars order we have the in the country stamp set another free with a $50 order, lots of coloring you can do with that stamp set, right? And then also the beautifully happy stamp set. Hi, Pam, how are you? This stamp set free with a $100 order. And the kind of cool thing about this one is, because um, I've played with this a little bit more, so I know a little bit more about it. You can stamp just the kind of outline image, right? But then, and I thought you colored, but you don't color. Like this one, they actually didn't even use the outline. They just used these, or maybe they used a really faint. That's probably what they did. Maybe like crumb cake um, so that they could kind of line. Because otherwise, I'm like, how the heck are you going to line stuff up? So they probably stamped this one maybe like in crumb cake, and then they used the deeper colors to go over it so you really don't even see um, the outline image in that one. And then here's one where they stamped that little guy and then they colored it in. So not with a, um, you know, they didn't actually color it. They just stamped it and it colored it in. So I love that stamp set. Again, free with a $100 order. Beautifully happy is the name of that one. Here's this cute Dandy Designs designer series paper. Again, you can see 12 by 12, 48 sheets, four of each of them free with a $100 order. And let's see, oh, and then the host stamp set. So this one, this is called Scenic Garden and it's free with um, an order over $300. So for every order over $300, you get the Scenic Garden stamp set for free also. And then there are some ideas, um, examples of beautiful projects that you can create there too. Oh, here's the, here's the picture of the Boho Blue, that cute little mini stamp and cotton emboss machine. And then I already told you about the different join you know, buying the starter kit deal. Um, but there, look at, so cute, that boho blue machine. Okay, so yes, so scrapbook pages. These were the two pages that we made. I think I showed you the other pages last month because they were Christmas pages, or maybe last week or the week before, but I love, so the cute little Hello Sunshine. This is some of the new balmy blue and white, the variegated ribbon. But look at, so this is like a four inch wide section of that designer series paper. And then same thing over here of the little, the little chickens and roosters and hens. So, so, so cute. Little ducks, right? Oh my gosh, super duper cute. So yeah, these were very simple pages that we made um, last month, but I loved, loved that paper more, way more than I thought I was going to, I guess is what I'm kind of saying about that. Okay, let me find... Actually, I think my host code is right here. Show you that. So here's our host code for January, the MBCC VBM2. So that's what you're going to want to use. Hi, Brenda. Happy Friday to you, too, um, if you order online. Okay. All right. We are ready to do our stamping. Let's see. I'm going to scoot that up and out, um, but I'll share that with you guys again. I need to make sure. I always have to, like, make sure my paper is in line and then I know if I'm on the paper you guys can see what I'm doing as long as the paper doesn't move right <laughs> which can happen okay Do -do 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 -do. okay I think we're good I already showed you yep I showed you the paper share so we can get that out of the way sorry I'm like okay adorable owls here we go 
So look at just these owls are so cute with his little bow tie, right? He's flying along and then the little buddy with his um, birthday hat on. My friend, it's your day and hoot hoot, you're so cute are the sentiments. Okay, and then again, just because I absolutely love this paper, we're going to share this one more time. So these are all the patterns in the Dandy Designs. Look at how cute these are. I'll show you. We'll do like these six, right? There's, I just love this paper. And ladies, get this order. This is going to be the thing. It's going to sell out, go on back order. Something is going to happen because this is such cute paper. Okay, so that's half of it. Again, these are cut down to six by six, but they come in 12 by 12 pieces. And look at that. <laughs> so I want to use every single one of these patterns. Love them all. Okay, so let me show you what we did today. Okay. So here's our first cute little owl, this It's Your Day. So this was like a birthday, intended birthday card, right? With a little birthday hat on there. So let me share with you how we made this one. Oh, and I have to show you, this is new ribbon. I think it's pool party, but let me make sure. Yep, so pool, they're calling this pool party um, grow grain ribbon. And it's beautiful. It's really, it's kind of a um, very soft, a little bit slidey almost. I don't know, whatever you want to say, but it's really nice and easy to work with too. So, and I just, this pool party is such a pretty color too. Okay. All right, we've got our stamps and ink. Let me show you, kind of give you dimensions first, and then I'll show you how we're going to make this card. Okay, so we're starting with this is coastal cabana cardstock i will have all of the details on my blog at gathering ink with a k so gathering inspiration.com they'll be uploaded this afternoon after facebook live okay so if you are like don't catch like what was this color how'd she do this or that all the details um will be on my facebook or i mean on my blog okay so coastal cabana cardstock along the eight and a half inch side we cut it at four and a quarter inches just right in half you guys can see that, right? Okay, and then on the 11 inch side, we scored it for our tall card at five and a half inches, okay? So that's kind of the orientation of the card. Then we have actually just basically pieces of balmy blue, oh, this is one you need to know, dimensions of this Dandy Designs designer series paper. This one, let me scoot these over here. This one measures three and three quarter by four and three quarter, or excuse me, three and a half by four and three quarters. I just loved, I, the blues and greens, my absolute favorite. So I think that's why I can't stop talking about how much I love that paper. And then we just have a couple of pieces of basic white cardstock for our tag and our little sentiment there. This piece we're going to use to make that frame right there also, okay? So I, we are actually going to do our die cutting. I found, <laughs> thank you, that's so cute, Bam. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Yes, it's all about that little owl. He's the little cutie. And then, well, the paper. Well, it's the paper, it's the ribbon, it's the gems. So these are, again, these. So here's my couple packs that I've like used because I use them on... Um, on these little buddies here too, on the calendar. So those those little guys right there are all of the smaller. So you can see I use lots of small ones. So they come, and I don't know the color names, but I am going to say, um, I don't know. This is just kind of like an iridescent pastel -y. This is some shade of blue and maybe Calypso Coral. So maybe Balmy Blue and Calypso Coral. And then this is um, kind of a vanilla clear, I guess. I don't know. Ladies, my brain is fried, but they're beautiful. I love them, but they come in small. I've used them all and then larger. So, and this is our free embellishment too, but that's what I used on those little guys right there. Okay. So we are going to do our die cutting. Normally I would stamp this and then die cut it, but I want to make sure I get him lined up properly. And I'm kind of afraid that I might make a mess of him if I die cut after? Probably not because I save my really good plates for you guys. The ones I normally use are totally beat up and they tend to like maybe get stuff on the white. So does that make sense? Who knows? <laughs> it's hard to say, right? Okay. So let's do our die cutting and I'll show you because we used a few different sets of dies on here. Okay. Sorry. So Pam and Philomena, do you guys know each other or are you maybe just on Facebook friends? I'm curious. 
about that. That's kind of fun. I love to see the connections that you guys make with each other. Okay, so we are going to use for the label, these are the Tailor Made Tags dies. Okay, so we're gonna use that largest kind of straight edge guy right there, but you can see all the different dies that come in this one. Monica, hello, thanks for joining us. Okay, so let's see. We've got, we'll put this one here. You know what I may do? We'll see, I don't know if it's gonna be able to fit. And then this is our balmy blue piece. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Is that gonna? Yeah, <laughs> these things are so, so I, I was saying I like save the good ones for you guys. They're so clear. I mean, there are a few cuts in here, but I couldn't even find it. <laughs> the one I have, the ones I use are just a total mess. So they're a lot easier to find. Okay, so then these are, what are these called? We're gonna use this big frame right here and I will, <laughs> just met on Facebook Lives. That's so cute, you guys. I love that. I love that. Okay, so different frames. Um, these are called the Fabulous Frames dies, okay? So we're gonna use this largest piece right here on this one. What I'm trying to figure out is because I need that little sentiment, I think I can do that. I'm gonna stamp that so this little It's Your Day, I'm gonna do that right over here in the corner and we'll see if you guys can see me or not. But I just have this little strip of basic white cardstock. I think you guys are gonna be able to see. I'm using Balmy Blue ink, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up, looks good. Okay, so let's get, because then we'll have all of our die cutting done. I'm actually gonna trim this down. I always give myself a little extra in case. Yeah, these things are like moving all over the place, aren't they? But I think we'll be able to get that to work. So my other favorite, this is kind of like an oldie but a goodie. These are the hydrangea dies, but I love that little label. There's other that other cute little one there too, but this is like the perfect little label. I wish we had a punch like that, really. Okay, so let's see. I was gonna put my glasses on, but I think I can do this without my glasses. So there's that one. As long as these are on the paper, they keep moving. Okay, I think we're good. The sentiment is the only one that needs to be straight. Everything else, as long as it's on the paper. And this one is, er, I'm trying not to wiggle the table too much. Um, makes that big crack. There it is again. With those thick edges, I think is what it is. Okay, so let me show you. Let's do the little sentiment first. There we go. Because you get the little stitching on there. So cute, right? Okay. Let's put that there. And then we have our little tag. We can get that out. And it makes that little hole too. So that's great. We're going to do our stamping of our owl on that one. Okay. And then our little frame. So I wanted to show you guys because, so here, like that's just trash, right? But then you've got this awesome rectangle. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with these, right? So we just need that little frame right there to go around our designer series paper. Oh, thank you. Oh, bomb. yes, okay, so I was, I think I had, Ooh, gold. All right. I think I did say. So I was, I had two out of three balmy blue, calypso coral, and gold. And where are my gems now? Are they hiding? Oh, they're right here. Yes. Okay. Wow. So they're calling those gold, huh? All right. Balmy blue and calypso coral. Thank you, Pam. You're like my little re library reference gal. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so again, you've got this piece right here that you can use for something else another day. Okay, so I think we're good. Let's get that little guy off there. Okay. All right, so now let the fun begin. Things have kind of moved a little bit here. We are gonna pull, roll my sleeves up here. We're gonna get serious now. Get my glasses on. I'm definitely gonna need my glasses here. Let me show you guys. We are gonna do some coloring, okay? All right, so we are, well, let's do our stamping first. Okay, so I've got my black memento with that cute little owl. Oh, oh, okay, Anna, sorry. I'm just like seeing this. Let me make sure I didn't miss any. The little sentiment die. So this little one comes from the hydrangea dies. So it's item code, it's 154326. That little 
that little label comes from the hydrangea dyes. So you can see kind of that, like I said, that one's been out for a while too. Um, but again, I will have um, all of this information on my blog too, in case you miss anything else. But yeah, feel free to ask me as we're going through, but don't stress out if you missed something. You can always rewatch later or get the details on my blog, Gathering Ink, Ink, I-N-K, Inspiration. So inspiration, but with a K. So when I stamped this the other day, it went kind of light. So I'm like kind of pounding because you can actually do that. Normally I don't pound. I don't ever want you to pound when you're using our regular ink pads. Okay. Ooh, he looks good. Um, but this black memento is like a linen ink pad. So you, you can press a little bit. You can pound a little bit. You know, don't go crazy, but okay, good. I'm just like scrolling to make sure I hadn't missed anything. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to bring this little owl back into view so that I can tell you what we're going to do. We are going to start with, this is a light Calypso coral marker. So we are going to start by, and bear with me, this coloring may not be as good as it would be otherwise, because um, my head would normally be <laughs> way down, much closer um, to this, but the camera's in the way, like the camera mount. So um, give me a little grace if it's not as good in terms of coloring as that little baby right there. It's because I can't get my head down there where I really want to be able to see. Okay, so that's that first step. Now let's color his eyes. We're going to use, this is balmy blue. We're going to use dark balmy blue. Okay, so we're going to try, oh my gosh, I really want to lift this thing up so I can, <laughs> and I have my glasses on, but there's this, you know, like your readers, like I, I really want to be closer somehow still. Okay. All right. We're doing, I think we're doing okay so far. Okay. So light, that was dark balmy blue. Now we are going to use light balmy blue on some of the stripes on his hat. Okay. I'm seriously getting down here. Can you, I don't know if you guys can see um, the corner of my head or not, but that's going to make me feel better if I can get my head right down here. Um, so I'm not able to see what you're seeing right now because I'm trying to be really serious about this. So hopefully I'm not I don't think I'm in the way, am I? Tell me tell me if my head or my hair is like fuzzy in the way somewhere, but I think we're good. Okay, so light balmy blue. Then we're going to use, this one is Bermuda Bay and this is the light Bermuda Bay. We're gonna finish coloring in. So we're gonna do the little tassels, so cute, right? And then this little stripe right here. Oh, I really wanna get closer, okay. There's that one, and then that little bit there. Okay, I think we're looking good so far. So this was, ah, oh, good, thank you, Brenda, I'm all clear. Love it, love it, love it. So this was kind of my test, um, which I didn't do on this one, but I wanna see, because I was trying to be really careful and get the light, these are soft suede, so I've got light soft suede and dark soft suede. So you can see there's the light and there's the dark. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color all over in the light so I don't have to worry about um, trying to, you know, get too close to the, I just thought, what do I want to say? I think it'll be easier to color. And then I'm going to go back in and color over with the dark on the other. Cause you're not worrying about like, oh, is that light or is that dark? I will have to worry about that when I go back with the dark, but at least for right now, we're just going to go all around everywhere and we'll see. I, it might even make it like a little bit darker, right? I think it's kind of, I like to keep turning the page. Um, don't forget to make sure that you have um, something, you know, a work paper underneath um, where you're coloring because you'll see when we look at the back side. So this is where like, this is gonna be so easy to just color in all of it in the light. So there we go, we kind of got the, mm, I guess we gotta go around his eyes and his little beak though too, don't we? I'm ready to just get to it by like coloring, coloring fast, but we got to get around all of these parts first. Oh, he's so worth it like this. And you know, this coloring, right? It's very, that working with your hands, very therapeutic, very relaxing, very calming. Can't you just tell from my voice how calm and relaxed I am because I'm coloring? 
right? You guys are feeling it too, aren't you? I just know it. Okay, so we've colored around everywhere. Now I'm going to flip over. Oh, well, I was, but look at major damage. <laughs> so I guess maybe we won't. Well, okay, forget that. I haven't, I haven't checked all of mine. So I'm going to tell you what, ladies, I am absolutely positive that I did not do that to my blend. Um, I take them to class and I think people push really, really hard and you don't need to. That's kind of a good lesson to understand um, that you, you know, there's no, no reason that the tip of your marker should ever look like that. Um, you should never have to press that hard. These are beautiful markers and they work so well. So it's kind of the hazard of the job, right? Okay, so there he is, and he looks pretty good, right? All one color, but if you want to add a little more detail, let's go back over, and again, I'm going to try not to get my head in the way. We're going to do the tops of his ears, kind of all this little bit inside here. Oh yeah, this is going to work really well. So instead of having to like worry about both sides of the lines, I only have to worry about this second side in terms of staying in the lines. But yeah, this is gonna work very well. So we're gonna color all that in. So you can see, doesn't that, he looks great already, just having that little difference there, right? Okay, so now we're gonna do, what are these? What do you call these? They're not his hands, right? Owls don't have hands. These are, they're not paws. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> I don't know, wings? Maybe they're wings. We're gonna color his wings, okay. Maybe I'm not quite as brain fried as I thought. I'm pretty brain fried. So one of the companies that I work for was sold recently. So that was kind of, well, unsettling, I guess I would say, wondering, you know, what's gonna happen. Um, it's been a great experience, the company that bought us has been wonderful to work for. Um, there's just a lot more, well, a lot of, you know, changing and transitioning of things. Um, so a lot more to do than I'm used to, which is fine because I'm learning a lot and it's all good, but yeah. Okay, so there, there we go. There's our little buddy. Isn't he so cute? Wings. <laughs> Brenda, you've got me. Thank you. Yeah. So there we go. That isn't he so cute? That little owl just totally makes it. So the owl and the paper totally. Well, like I said, and the ribbon and the gems. Okay, so we can put things together. Good, 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 good. good. All right, I'm gonna take my glasses off so I can <laughs> see further back again. So I moved everything all over the place. So now I gotta find it all again. Um, one thing I do want is my little silicone mat because I'm gonna put this paper right on here. And I'm going to just run adhesive oops, around the edges. And I want to do this on my silicone mat so that I don't get adhesive all over my grid paper. You just want this to like line up, right? So you kind of find some dots and make sure it looks even. It doesn't really even matter if it's even on the back. That actually worked pretty well. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet, Brenda. That is, I love, thank you, thank you, thank you. Simple. I usually keep things very simple. Um, it's funny, I was thinking, you know, I think I'm really, I might need to break out of the mold a little bit because I'm kind of like, I'm following <laughs> true to my accountant ways. Like I have kind of these steps for doing things, you know, in terms of making the card. And then I always have to, at the end, I'm like, oh, I need to add some texture. So I'll find some ribbon. And then I always have to add some embellishment, some bling, again, some more texture. Okay. So there's that first. And so this card came from the designer series paper in terms of the colors. On the back of the paper pack, it told me that they used balmy blue and they used um, coastal cabana. So it was so easy um, to you know, come up with, and plus I love the blues and greens. So this, this is all me. Oh, and this is what I was talking about. Make sure you um, put something behind, you know, um, work surface, right? Because that definitely comes through. I don't think it didn't actually bleed onto here, but you never know, right? So you want to make sure you're good there. Okay. So we're going to take these guys off. Oh, you know what? I did this before last time too. So let's 
actually, we're gonna, before um, I stick this down, I'm gonna put this little bit of pool party ribbon. We're gonna just do that little bit right there. Okay, and then we'll come back and tie that up and fix it up if we need to in just a moment. Okay, so that's gonna go there. Okay, um, where is my, now I've got some, my linen thread. We're gonna just tie a little bow around this ribbon. So we're gonna just make that kind of sit up there. If you kind of hold it with your finger, that makes it easier. To work with you're probably not able to see what i'm doing but i'm definitely using a finger to hold that down because otherwise it kind of wings all over the place once i get this first little knot tied then i don't have to hold it down anymore get that where i want it okay that looks good so like i said i think this would be a super cute you know congratulations welcome baby card you just have to um you know find a different sentiment to do that but so cute. Love these owls. So again, this stamp set, free with a $50 order. The cute designer series paper, free with a $100 order. Now through February 28th. But again, I'm just saying this is the one that's going to sell out, that paper. Get it. ASAP so you don't miss out. Okay, we're going to add our little sentiment. And I just kind of Laid that right on there, right? And then see, we're almost done already, right? We just need a couple of our embellishments. So we're gonna use our Balmy Blue because we're using Balmy Blue cardstock and Balmy Blue ink. So we're just gonna pick up a couple of these little guys and pop them on our card. And there we go. So, so cute, huh? Love this little owl, right? That's so, 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 so cute, right? Okay, so project number one. We're gonna scoot this stuff up. Let's actually, we're gonna clean our stamps. So you guys know, chamois, love the chamois. So easy to clean everything off with, right? Then I don't get it anywhere I don't want it. Okay, here we go. I think I need that ink again. So we're gonna keep that one out there. Yes, I do. We're gonna do a little more coloring on our next project. Okay, so here we go. Our next one, another cute little owl. Oh, more of the fun designer series paper. Thank you, Nancy. I'm glad you like that one. So, oh, okay. And you guys are probably gonna, maybe you won't notice, um, but after I colored in his eyes, I was like, oh, I think I did that backwards, right? You're supposed to do like the pupils in the blue. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. So on the next one, I'm going to color in the right part. We're going to color in the blue there, and we're not going to color it in there, if I remember, right? Okay. Um, anyway, I still think he looks cute, and you might not have even noticed, but anyway, so we've got my friend, who, who, you're so cute. And I think, oh, you, should, you could use that for a baby card too, right? You could say, welcome, baby, who, who, you're so cute, right? Because every baby's cute, aren't they? Okay, so here we go. Let's get our stuff Oh, what we need for this one. Okay, we'll get our stamps there too. Okay, so for this card, we are using, I feel like I have a lot of pieces. I think I just do, right? It, like, wow, that seems like more than I need, but I think I'll be able to figure it out. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with, this is a piece of Fresh Freesia cardstock, eight and a half by 11. Okay, so again, Kind of a, well, not tall, right? Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then a little bit different. This is like a little bifold, I guess I would say. Along the 11 inch side, we scored it at two and three quarter and eight and one quarter. So that is going to fold in like that, right? Ha, ah, yes, such soft and lovely colors. It's the paper, Philomena. All of the paper is, they're just soft and lovely. You're right. Okay. This is pool party cardstock. So what that's what's kind of fun is you can, I think there's pool party, balmy blue, um, coastal cabana. You've got lots of different color options. This is, um, I think, mm, why am I drawing a blank? The green. Why can't I think of the green? Granny apple green. Yep. And maybe pear pizzazz. But I think you can also kind of bend the colors a little bit too to 
what you want them to be. Okay, so the inside of the card, five and a quarter by four inches, right? And then this one layers right on top, a quarter of an inch smaller at five by three and three quarters. So that's gonna go there like that, okay? Then we have pieces of more balmy blue and basic white for our layering diorama dies. A little bit for our My Friend, and then two pieces each of, this is Pool Party cardstock, Two and a half by four, those are gonna go on either side right there. And then the designer series paper, two more of these that are two and one quarter by three and three quarter, and those are gonna layer right there, right on top of there, okay? So I am, again, I'm gonna stamp my My Friend in Fresh Freesia ink because it matches my Fresh Freesia card, Freesia card stock. The beauty of Stampin' Up, right? We're gonna press straight down, lift straight up. That it looks good. Okay, again, I typically would stamp that owl and then die cut it, but there's something about, I, I need to be able to see the, um, the shape and then I can stamp on it. So that's what we're gonna do. Backwards for me a little bit. And actually, you know what? Why don't we, let's just do this. The hoot hoot, you're cute. We'll do that on the basic white here. So again, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Press straight down. I do like to kind of press, but I'm never wiggling or rocking just in case I have ink around the edges. I don't want to get that ring around my sentiment there, okay? All right, so we have those, we've got that. All right, let's do our die cutting. And I'll show you what we're using on these. So another little label. I didn't want to use the same, I could have, that little My Friend would have fit perfectly on that little label die from the Hydrangea set. Instead, let me just trim that off. Let me show you what we're using. I think we can probably get all three of these on here. Okay, I think that looks good. Um, where are my dies? Right here, okay. So, the little label is from this die set right here, which I'm gonna flip it over in a sec. Hold on, let me put these back in here. You guys, beautiful shapes maybe? Love all of those shapes, right? Lots of cool. I forget, we have circles in there too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to remember that. Yeah, beautiful shapes, guys. Lots of awesome like labely shapes in there. Okay, so this is gonna go on the My Friend. We'll fix that in a sec. And then the layering diorama dies, these are all the ones we're not using. These are the two, kind of I guess the third and fourth smallest are what we're gonna use. So we need the bigger one there and the smaller one there. And again, as long as it's on the paper, it doesn't matter. It's not lining up to anything else. That one, this is the only one we gotta fret about a bit and make sure. And who knows, it's acting like it's not gonna be um, there. It wasn't gonna be very nice to me, but hopefully we might make it through. <laughs> You never know. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we're looking good. Sorry if there was some wiggling there. Okay, there's that one. These are so cute, right? The little, it's like they're kind of like clouds or something maybe. A little bit of clouds. Okay, and then here is that one also. You can see kind of the um, embossing around the edges of that one too. Okay. All right, so we are I'm gonna bring the card back into view. Again, you guys can still see, right? We, that's gonna go like that. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my Memento ink again. And this time we've got the little owl that's flying by. I am pounding, never pound on the other, the firm foam ink pads. Okay. Want him right about there. And I'm pressing firmly, but I'm not, rocking at all, wiggling or rocking, because the wiggling will make it kind of blurry looking. Don't want to do that. So this one, um, more simple, which I, I, I still love. I think he looks so cute. So we're going to just color the owl himself. This one is light crumb cake. We're going to do his nose, his beak, and his feet, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. This is the brain fart moment. And light pumpkin pie. And then his eyes, the pupils, we're going to do in dark pool party. So let's do the little, okay, we're going to, let's, let's color the eyes the way they're supposed to be colored, right? So we're going to color these 
right here. And then this one there. So you guys will tell me which one you like better. <laughs> it's really not going to matter, but yes, a nice, easy fold. That's right, Philomena. Still a fun fold though, right? I'm like obsessed with, you know, fun folds or now, you know, putting something on the inside of the card. Okay, let me get his little... There we go, his little feet, okay. And now we're just gonna color him. And again, we're gonna kind of color in because we're only doing one shade. I think he looks great, just the one shade even. And maybe it's because of all of the polka dots on the designer series paper. You know, you don't want things to be too busy. And the kind of cool thing about this light crumb cake color if you maybe were to go over his beak a little bit, I don't think you'd even really notice too much. If you go on the white, you're going to notice, but so you want to be a little bit careful. But you can see him. Ooh, I almost went inside of his eye again. I don't know. He would look very tired then, wouldn't he, if I had done that? There we go. But you can see how beautiful and easy it is to color in with these markers. And maybe I'll just go around the edge here and then we'll flip to the, the fat edge. I don't know, whatever it's called, right? And we'll finish coloring in. Let's do that, okay? And we can just sweep this all in here. And this one's a little bit smushy too. I think I need to give another lesson at class on how to use these blends so that they don't get too smushied up. Yeah, it's not too bad, but there, see? Didn't take much at all. And look at how cute he is, right? Okay, so which of the eyes do we like better? <laughs> I think probably those, right? <laughs> okay, so there we go. We got that guy colored. Now we can just put him together. So. Quickity, quick and easy, lickety splickety, we'll get um, our little owl card. And again, this would be another great, I just love that idea, the little welcome baby. Hello, baby. How fun for all of my friends that are going to be grandmas. I don't know. It's kind of a... Oh, I'm like that word though. I, I see how people might want to come up with another nickname if they're not quite ready to be called grandma. <laughs> I can I can see how that might happen. Oh, it's funny. Um, so my daughter Lily is dating this boy named Vinny. They met just before they went to college at Grand Valley, but they both are in the same dorm. They both live in the same dorm at Grand Valley. And I I think they spend a lot of time together. And she was telling me how he texted her because he's at home right now too, down in the Detroit area. So they're not, they don't get to see each other quite as much over Christmas break. But she said he texted her the other day and said, you know, um, hopefully in our first house, we can have like a home gym or something. And there was just something about that that I was like, oh, okay, they are pretty you know, they really like each other. They're like talking about stuff like that, which I guess you do too. But it was the first moment, I think, of like, oh, gosh, my daughter's really growing up. And so I was like, Lily, do you think you guys, you know, would get married? And she's like, yeah. So anyway, it was just very sweet. You know, it's one of those you never know, but it's fun for them to dream. So I thought that was cute. Okay, we're going to add a couple of little, oh, I didn't even um, tell you about these. These, oops, let me move that over a little bit more. Um, these are called the Adhesive Backed Milky Dots. Don't know the names of e these either. I feel, uh, I was going to maybe say Smoky Slate and Night of Navy and, uh, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of what maybe... One of the in color, the peachy in color that I can't think of the name of right now. Again, if Brenda's on here, maybe she'll be our reference lady and tell us the actual names of the colors. But they're very pretty. You can kind of see, again, some smaller and some larger, three different colors, and, a, and another one of these that you can kind of bend the colors to what you need them to be, I would say. But this is another embellishment, a new embellishment. Every time a new catalog comes out, that's the first thing I want to get, is all of the ribbon, well, all of the ribbon, 
all of the embellishments and all of the new designer series paper. And then I kind of pick and choose the stamp sets that I want, but I have to get all of those things in my hands very quickly because I love, you know, they just make a card adding um, a little bit of ribbon, the embellishments, the texture. They really make your cards, I think. So sorry, I'm like kind of rambling on today, aren't I? All right, one last step. I've got the funky glue dots that are on the wrong side. Can't wait for that pack to be done. <laughs> and then maybe I won't have those anymore. And there's our little bow on that one. So woohoo! We did it, ladies. We made it. Okay, so, oops, there we go. I've been pressing this one so it stays down a little bit more. That one, not quite as much. All right, so my quick recap here. Oh, and I updated my sheet here, right? I think last week I didn't have it. So here we go. Put an online order in through me of at least $50 using this host code right here. You get today's projects, one of each of these projects. You get your choice of a free embellishment, the those cute gems, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And your name is in the drawing to win. Where is my catalog? Here it is. Stamp set, the Share a Milkshake stamp set. Ah, Brenda, she came through for me. Love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, okay, so Mango Melody, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, and White. Okay, I can see the Petal Pink. It does look a little pink. I feel like those could kind of be smoky slate too. So thank you so much, you guys. Awesome. All right, so all those freebies you get for ordering through me, which I truly, truly, truly appreciate your orders. And do that now because you get your free celebration stuff too. Okay, thanks guys. I think we did it. We'll see you two weeks from today right here on our next Facebook Live. Bye everybody.